Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Playing With Power MTG, where we play with the most powerful cards in the most powerful formats. Tonight's game is brought to you by TCGPlayer.com, where you can find all of your cards online while still supporting local game stores, Dragon Shield for all of the best accessories to protect your decks, and through Patreon, where you get awesome benefits for your direct support. Tonight's game features the Playing With Power team bringing back some old favorites as well as some hot new brews to the CDH table. So let's start out by showcasing our fighters this evening. First, we have Zack, piloting the partner pair of Timna the Weaver and Tana the Bloodsower. This is a stacks deck that looks to stacks out the early game and put together a Kiki combo using Birthing Pod, Survival of the Fittest, or Yeast on the Wanderer Bard. His opening hand contains a Flooded Strand, Gaia's Cradle, Arbor Elf, Collector Oof, Opposition Agent, Survival of the Fittest, and his London Mulligan is an Aladomri's Call. Next, we have Folger, piloting the partner pair of Thrasios Triton Hero and Vile Smasher the Fierce. This is a control deck that seeks to stop early win attempts while generating card advantage. Once in the late game, it has multiple combo lines to close out the game. His opening hand contains a Command Tower, Notion Thief, Soul Ring, Deflecting Swat, Graph Digger's Cage, Training Grounds, and a Training Center. After that, we have Mike, piloting the partner pair of Timna the Weaver and Krom, Ludovic's Opus. This is a Turbo Ad Nauseam deck. If the fast game plan gets stopped, it switches to a grind game utilizing its commanders. His opening hand contains a Command Tower, Ancient Tomb, Gamble, Calling the Weak, Bloodstained Mire, and his London Mulligans are a Pyroblast and a Force of Will. Finally, we have Ryan, piloting the partner pair of Rograk, Son of Rogah, and Silas Friend, Seeker Adept. This is also a Turbo Ad Nauseam deck. However, unlike Mike's, this deck goes all in using its commanders to go as fast as possible. His opening hand contains a City of Traitors, Time Twister, Mox Opal, Chain of Vapor, Mana Confluence, Arcane Signet, and his London Mulligan is a Badlands. Without further ado, let's begin this fabulous, familiar, famous, fancy, fantastic festival of funk. Zack wins the Who's That Planeswalker guessing game and gets to start us off. Zack draws a card per turn and plays a Flooded Strand. He cracks it, pays a life, and fetches up a Savannah onto the battlefield. He casts an Arbor Elf. Zack passes. Folger draws a card per turn and plays a Command Tower. He casts a Soul Ring. He follows it up with a Grab Digger's Gage. He ends his turn. Mike draws a card per turn and plays a Command Tower of his own. He casts Gamble. He fetches up a card into his hand and then discards a card at random, which is a Bloodstained Mire. Surprisingly, he passes. Ryan draws a card for turn and plays a City of Traitors. He casts his commander, Rograk, son of Rogah. He casts a Mox Opal. He casts a Paradise Mantle. He casts an Arcane Signet. He equips Paradise Mantle to Rograk. Ryan passes the turn. Zack draws and casts a Deathrite Shaman. He plays a Guy's Cradle. He casts a Collector Oof. Ryan groans and in response, he floats a blue mana. Collector Oof resolves, and Zack moves to combat. Before mana fades, Ryan casts Chain of Vapor, bouncing Collector Oof back to Zack's hand. Zack doesn't continue the chain, and then moves to combat. He attacks Folger with Arbor Elf. Folger takes the hit, and Zack passes to Folger. Folger draws and plays a Training Center. He casts a Mystic Remora. In response, Mike pays 2 life and casts Mental Misstep, countering Remora. Folger passes. Mike draws and plays an Ancient Tomb. He taps Ancient Tomb to cast Dockside Extortionist. It enters, and Mike creates five treasures. He cracks a treasure for a black and casts Calling the Weak, sacrificing Dockside as an additional cost. Mike makes four black mana. He cracks two treasures for red and a blue, and then casts his commander, Krom, Ludovic's Opus. He cracks a treasure for a white, and then casts his other commander, Timna the Weaver. He moves to combat and attacks Ryan with Krom. Ryan takes it. In a second main phase, Timna triggers, and then Mike pays one life and draws a card. Mike ships the turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and taps City of Traders for two colorless. He plays a Mana Confluence. It enters, City of Traders triggers, and then Ryan sacrifices it. He casts a Time Twister. Each player shuffles their hand and graveyard into their libraries and draws seven. Ryan casts a Grim Monolith. Krom triggers, and Mike draws. Ryan passes. Zack draws and plays a Bountiful Promenade. He casts a Vexing Shusher. He casts a Bloom Tender. Krom triggers, and Mike draws. Zack ends his turn. Folger draws and plays a Rejuvenating Springs. He casts a Mystic Remora again. <laughs> In response, Mike cracks a treasure to cast Swan Song, targeting Mystic Remora. Remora is countered, and Folger creates a 2 2 bird. He casts a Dockside Extortionist. Krom triggers, and Mike draws. Dockside enters, and Folger creates four treasures. He cracks two to cast his commander, Thrasios, Triton Hero. Folger passes. Mike draws and moves to combat. He attacks Folger with Krom and Ryan with Temna. Folger blocks with his Swan, Ryan takes a hit, and then Mike gains two. In his second main phase, Temna triggers, and Mike pays a life and draws a card. He plays a Misty Rainforest. He casts a Lion's Eye Diamond. He passes, discarding to hand size. Ryan draws and plays a Morphic Pool. He casts Diabolic Intent, sacrificing Rograk as an additional cost. 
Ryan fetches up a card into his hand. Ryan casts Ad Nauseum. Chrome triggers and Mike draws. In response, Mike casts Miscast, targeting Ad Nauseum. Ryan chooses not to interact because if he does, then Zach could just stop him for free with Vexing Susher. As such, Miscast counters Ad Nauseum. Ryan passes. Zach draws and casts his commander, Timna the Weaver. He casts a runic armor Chrome triggers and Mike draws. In response, Folger cracks treasures to activate Thrasios. He scries one, reveals a blood crypt, and then puts it onto the battlefield tap. Armasaur resolves, and Zack plays an ancient tomb. He taps it to cast Magus of the Moon. In response, Mike cracks his Misty Rainforest and pays a life. Runic Armasaur triggers, and Zack draws. Zack responds to the fetch by floating a white mana. Mike fetches up an island onto the battlefield. Magus of the Moon then resolves. With his floating mana, Zack casts a Dranith Magistrate. He moves to combat and attacks Mike with a Vexing Shusher and Ryan with an Arbor Elf. They both take the hit, and in his second main phase, Timna triggers, and Zack pays two life and draws two cards. Zack activates Deathrite Shaman, exiling a land from Mike's graveyard for a red. He casts Pyroblast, targeting Thrasios. In response, Folger casts Deflecting Swat, targeting Pyroblast. Mike responds by casting Force of Will, exiling Mental Misstep, paying a life, and targeting Swat. Force of Will then counters Swat, and Pyroblast destroys Thrasios. Zack passes the turn to Folger. Folger draws, takes no actions, and passes. Mike draws and moves to combat. He attacks Ryan with Temna. Ryan takes two and Mike gains two. In his second main phase, Timna triggers and Mike pays a life and draws a card. He plays a Mana Confluence. Mike ships a turn to Ryan. Ryan draws and plays a Snow-Covered Swamp. He passes. Zack draws and activates Deathrite Shaman, exiling a land from Mike's graveyard and making a black. He casts an Azra Oddsmaker. He moves to combat and Azra Oddsmaker triggers. Zack discards a card and targets Arbor Elf with the ability. Zack attacks Ryan with Timna and Arbor Elf, and Folger with Vexing Shusher and Armasaur. Both players take the hit, Azrod's Maker triggers, and Zack draws two cards. In his second main phase, Timna triggers. In response, Mike flashes in Hull Breacher. Hull Breacher resolves, and Zack chooses not to pay any life. Next, he plays a Scrubland. He casts Anna Fens of the Foremost. Chrome triggers, and Mike draws. Zack casts a Goblin Sharpshooter. He passes to Folger. Folger draws, and still unable to operate due to the Magus of the Moon, has to pass. Mike draws and moves to combat. He attacks Folger with Timna and Ryan with Hull Breacher. They both take the hit and Mike gains two life. In his second main phase, Timna triggers. Mike pays two life and draws two cards. He plays a Scrubland. He has a Dockside Extortionist. It enters and then Mike creates six treasures. He cracks two treasures to cast Grand Abolisher. This is a huge red flag that Mike is going for the win. Unfortunately, the table is unable to stop it and Abolisher resolves. Mike casts Chain of Vapor, returning Dockside to his hand. He recasts Dockside Extortionist. It enters again, and Mike creates six more treasures. He cracks one to cast Dark Ritual. Mike makes three black and then casts a Wishclaw Talisman. He activates it, fetches up a card into his hand, and then gives the talisman to Ryan. Mike cracks two treasures and casts Thassa's Oracle. It enters, and then with the trigger on the stack, Mike casts Demonic Consultation. Consultation resolves, and Mike exiles his deck. Thassa's Oracle trigger resolves, and Mike wins the game. Ladies and gentlemen, what a game. Congratulations to Mike on his win. He played around Zack's stacks pieces, interacted with great timing, and took his opportunity to close out the game. The most valuable card goes to Krom, Ludovic's Opus. Mike was drawing two to three cards per rotation just by having his commander on the battlefield. Krom is unrivaled in the amount of card advantage for the rate. A five mana creature with a passive ability to draw cards consistently is an amazing ability in the command zone. Well, that about wraps it up for this episode. You can help us out by liking, sharing, subscribing, and also supporting us on Patreon. Tune in next time when we duke it out to see who will be king of the competitive EDH table. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Okay, it is Patreon shoutout time. Want to give a Patreon shoutout to an Alaskan bullworm, Dark, Philip Hickey, D. Roach, Brad Tobin, Sanguinolency, Snarps the Klept, Matt Wingrove, Delph Driz, Dante, Baby Jeebus, Trey Payne, Rakeko, James O. Gunsikin, O. Gunsikin. Ogunsikin, that's a, whew, all right, Ogunsikin, Zods, Noah Saldana, Wyon, 
Ferberglund, Spielrahu, Sparks, CZ, and Nick. Thanks a lot, everyone. Really appreciate it.